Memorandum Agreement at Disenyo ng bagong EDSA Busway Bridges and Concourse Project. Pinirmahan na ang bago nitong disenyo. Panuorin at alamin. The Department of Transportation signed on Monday, November 16, a memorandum agreement with SM Prime Holdings, DM Wenceslao and Associates Incorporated, and Double Dragon Properties Corporation for the construction of the proposed EDSA busway bridges and concourse. The structures which were donated by the said private partners are indispensable components of the new EDSA busway to further provide safer, more convenient, and PWD-friendly walkways for the riding public using the EDSA busway stations and for pedestrians crossing EDSA from one side to the other. To recall, the EDSA busway, a system that utilizes a dedicated median lane for public utility buses which runs from Monumento and Caloocan City to the SM Mall of Asia and Pasay City, was established in cooperation with Metro Manila Development Authority, Department of Public Works and Highways, and the Land Transportation, Franchising and Regulatory Board. Since its launch, the EDSA busway has effectively reduced travel time from previous 3 to 3.5 hours from Monumento to Pitex to just 50 minutes to 1 hour. During the event, busway advocate Mr. Eduardo Yap discussed the features of the EDSA busway bridge with conquerors, such as having a state-of-the-art architecture with concierge, ticketing booth, and turnstiles for the automatic fare collection system. Ramps and elevators will also be available to provide accessibility for PWDs, senior citizens, and pregnant women. DOTR Secretary Arthur Tugade also underscored the benefits of the facilities and expressed gratitude to the government and private sector partners who have greatly contributed to the project's realization. Maganda ho ang proyektong ito. With the state-of-the-art facilities of the EDSA Busway Bridge and Concourse, we will be catering world-class service to the public. Laking ginhawa sa ating mga kababayan, lalo tigit sa ating mga senior citizen, sa may kapansanan at mga buntis. Hindi na ho sila mahihirapan magakyat bumaba sa busway. Hindi na ho sila mahihirapan sa pagtawid at sa pagsakay sa EDSA Busway. Meanwhile, MMDA Chairman Danilo Lim added that the project will significantly improve the travel experience of passengers along the country's main thoroughfare. We believe that the EDSA Busway Bridge and Concourse is crucial for a more seamless EDSA Busway operation. With the construction of the Busway Bridge, we hope to provide an even better experience for commuters through its automatic fare collection system, PWD ramps, and elevators. We also see that this will encourage increased ridership and commuter satisfaction upon its completion in the coming months on the five target locations. That's a bus with bridges with Concours will be strategically located at the following locations SM Mall of Asia, SM North Edsa, SM Mega Mall, President Pakapagal Boulevard in Asiana City, and at Edsa near the corner of President Pakapagal Avenue. The project will be shouldered by the DOTR's private sector partners who have expressed their full support to the project. We at SM are delighted to partner with the government in improving the daily commute of every Filipino. We always stand ready to support initiatives that seek to uplift the lives of the community. As part of our commitment, we will ensure that the overhead bridges and passenger concourses are properly secured and well-maintained for the safety 
and convenience of all passengers and pedestrians. All this we will undertake at no additional cost to the government. We thank Secretary Tugade, Villar, and General Lim, and all the other cabinet mavericks for all their trailblazing efforts in allowing and partnering with the private sector to create urban mobility infrastructure and assets at no cost to government. We applaud our government agencies for introducing the EDSA busway project, a highly promising mass transport system which will hasten the transformation of EDSA into a commuter-friendly thoroughfare. The target start of construction will be within the next two to three months once the detailed engineering design is finalized and necessary permits are secured. According to Mr. Eduardo Yap, construction time is also estimated to run from six to eight months. Other officials present in the Memorandum of Agreement signing were DPWH Assistant Secretary Mel John Versosa, who represented DPWH Secretary Mark Filiar, DOTR Assistant Secretary for Road Transport and Infrastructure Mark Steven Pastor, LTFRB Chairman Martin Delgar III, Toll Regulatory Board Executive Director Abraham Sales and MMDA General Manager Jojo Garcia. Meanwhile, other private sector partners present were SM Supermall's President Stephen Tan, former BSP Governor Amando T. Tanco, Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry President George Barcelon, and retired Chief Justice Artemio Panganiban. What do you think about the EDSA Busway Bridge and Concourse Project? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.